spirits meet. And today we have another Glen Scotia on my cask. And I, for some reason, I feel that I have tons of Glen Scotia on my cask. So for this small distillery from the town of Campbelltown, I have a lot of whiskey on my cask. And yeah, today we're trying the Glen Scotia Victoriana. It's a cask strength um, whiskey with 56.2% ABV and yeah, it's a, a strong whiskey and non-chill filtered, not colored and it's actually exclusively bottled for us. And it's bottled, this is the first bottle of uh, 1,150 bottles. So it's not a single cask. Um, it was distilled 2010 and bottled 2020. Oh, it doesn't even say the cask type. is the first fill heavy char American oak barrel. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a very big charred bourbon cask that has been filled with this. Yeah, it's a, a nice bottle. I think the limited release from uh, Glen Scotia, they all do have this bottle with the uh, their yeah, signature as, um, cask into the bottle and G and S and their 1832 cask into it. If you'd like to have more background about the Glen Scotia distillery, then have a look at uh, the distillery video on whiskey.com or on the YouTube channel. Yeah. Let's have a try. I've already poured myself a glass. It's actually um, peated whiskey. So there is a little bit of peat in there. And it's a very, very lightly peated whiskey. So when you just smell it, there's only just a smidge of, of peat in there. The first thing that you recognize is a good amount of oak. And it feels a little bit of a, like a, a board, a cutting board that you just oiled. So a little bit of a oily, creamy feely to it with um, yeah, not nice oak flavors. Little bit of sweetness, little bit of um, fruitiness, but it's so, so small that I can't really define it. Would be something like green apple, pink apple, red apple, Something like in that direction, bit, bit of a fresh fruit note to it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, 56.2% ABV carries a lot of whiskey and you have a, a good amount of oak. So the oak is the dominant touch, but in the in the taste, you do have more smoke to it. So there is a little smoke to it. I would say seven to 10 PPM is about the number here. So it's a, a very lightly smoked whiskey. Little sweetness, little bit of a fruity touch, just nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, second sip delivers just as much as the first does, mm. but the the smokiness stacks up. So now it feels like a little bit more a light smoked whiskey. So 15 ppm. Maybe if you're sensitive to the ppm, you would recognize it as a 20 ppm to the smokiness. The smokiness is pretty light, pretty dry. Smells a little bit like a or tastes like a chimney smells. Mm -hmm. I like it. So unfortunately, this is not a bottle that you can find out on the market out there, but it just shows you that, yeah, the quality of the limited releases from Glen Scotia are pretty high and they are releasing that everywhere in the world. And you can kind of tune your, your style towards what you want. If you look at the cask, it has been matured. And this one is, was a heavily charred first fill bourbon barrel. If you'd like to know more about 
uh, different cast maturations. There's an article I've written on whiskey.com where you can find out all the predecessors and all the effects of the casks on the whiskey that are known. There are also a lot of unknowns to cask maturation. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, then please give me a thumbs up and see you next time.